bring all your failings, your shortcomings, and let's work with them. Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Okello and um, I'm the co-founder of Circles Women in Business and Kayana Kenya. Hi, and I'm Renee Gamal and uh, co-founder of uh, Circles for Women in Business and also of Renaissance. Um, and we wanted to tell you a little bit about what it is that we do. Um, I think starting with the vision, why we do what we do. Exactly. The idea of Circles for Women in Business was birthed from a book that I, I co-authored known as The Candid Handbook for Women Doing Business in Kenya. The book is based on my own experience as an entrepreneur and the fact that sometimes the journey of entrepreneurship can be extremely lonely. I longed and hungered for a community of female entrepreneurs where we could share our experiences and what we were going through and I found it quite difficult to find one. In 2014, however, I managed to travel to uh, Florida for an award in which I had been nominated for. And I loved the feeling of community and sharing among, among entrepreneurs that were highly successful. When I came back to Kenya, I really, really wanted to share the same experience with the communities around me. And that is really how, the, how a candid handbook for women doing business was birthed. After interviewing around 18 uh, women entrepreneurs and publishing the book, I felt that instead of just having one launch, how about a series of launches where we encourage women to come together and share their experience in a safe space. As it were, I met Renee, who was on a journey of her own, and thankfully, we've been able to hold these events together. So for me, what struck me as a business coach was how often the questions that I was being asked were the very same no matter who showed up and at what level their business was. And that desperate need to find commonality amongst business people, particularly for business persons and especially for women. Running business can really be lonely. And this, the candid conversations that we have for women in business, such as tonight, is an opportunity for us to do exactly that. Have a safe space to be truly authentic and have conversations that are meaningful and that allow us to move beyond our limiting beliefs into a space or a realm of possibility for our business. But then out of that came a second thing, which was where do we home or how do we house this community? And this is the story of Kayana. Indeed, after holding several events here and being highly successful of over a hundred entrepreneurs coming into the space, we started to think what more can we give to this community? While Candid Conversations generally is an event for women, we decided to host, host a, a, an area or a space that is specifically for women in business. And that is how Kayana was birthed. So in 2019, we launched this community known as Kayana, which is a space for women entrepreneurs whose, whose ideas or businesses are in ideation and are moving to the startup phase. The journey has been extremely interesting and we've met a lot of entrepreneurs along the way. And thankfully, with Renee by our sides and Renaissance and the work that she does as a coach, we've seen so many businesses come out of their shell and, and, and see the light of day. Is that so? Indeed. And for those who are thinking, well, I'm not a business person, but I'd love to start a business. I don't even know how to start, where to start. Or indeed, you started a business, but you had it as a side business, a little hobby, and you want to take it to the next level. We, we thought of you. And out of that, we created a course called Super Circles for Women in Business. It's a 15-week course, or indeed, when we've got an accelerated version, an eight-week course, a real intensive, going from everything from knowing yourself to ideation, to sales, to formalization, to partnerships, and everything in between. And this series helps you to step-by-step, step, very practically, start your business, pivot your business, grow your business, get a handle of it, but do it in a community that allows you to grow and that holds you accountable. But then the question becomes, I've done all the work, where do I sell my goods or how do I get my services out there? Particularly if you are a small business or your cottage industry. And this led us to the next step. The Kenya cottage industry was really birthed from 
I mean, from a real desire to see where are these businesses, where are these women who are working from home, and trying to get them out of that space so that we can, I mean, in, we, I believed that there was a community of women working from home, but the proof was in the pudding. And through hosting the Cottage Industry Expo, indeed, we saw so many businesses come out from the home and, and, and see some fantastic products and some fantastic goods being made. We've hosted two, two expos in 20, 20, 2019 and 2020, and we hope to continue to do this even down to county level, because we want to see more and more businesses birth and be there for uh, posterity. So how can you plug in? Well, there's a number of ways in which you can. If you follow us on the following handles, um, Circles for Women in Business, a candid handbook for women doing business on Facebook, Kayana Kenya on Instagram, and Cottage Industry on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Or indeed, if you follow Renaissance, which is just R E N W E S E N S E, then you'll find out about our events, how to come to an event such as this, which is open to all women in business, even those thinking of starting a business, or even if you think that your business is too small. The second way is you can plug into our courses, particularly our Super Circles courses, by following Kayana or indeed by following Renaissance and finding out when our next course is. And in addition to that, if you want to participate in the cottage industries or you want to be part of the community called Kayana, well, you can send an email to info at kayana.org to Grace's attention and she'll put you through to the right community for you to plug in. So finally, if you're thinking this is quite a lot, but I'd love to meet some of the other businesses, well, check out our podcasts on um, Kayana and as well on Renaissance and on our websites and you will see some of the wonderful stories of amazing things that women are doing. And ultimately, we urge you to buy from them because this community won't be built or transformed unless we, you and us, invest in these women and the wonderful work that they're doing. So join the community of women making a difference and women of abundance. Thank you.